Okay, so this is uh, my lathe and uh, this is what we're going to make the ball out of. So I've just got a piece of steel that I've threaded and I've put it on a mandrel which is made of brass um, and that's my uh, die holder and this is the cross slide and this is the compound slide on the MIFID and um, this is held on by two bolts here and it swivels on a hole so uh, to put my um, uh, ball turning attachment on we have to remove this um, compound slide uh, which we do with spanner so do the bolts and this is uh, one of the problems with the MIFID is uh, you only can go to that angle um, which makes it very difficult to cut uh, threads uh, at the normal way where you set the compound pound slide at the angle but that's really not really relevant. So we take that off and you can see there's a, a nice hole here and what I did was I made, I made this uh, to go on here and obviously it fits in there like that and uh, I got that far and was very excited that it was going to work and I wound it in and found that it would only go uh, to something like about that far uh, and stop uh, which wasn't far enough because it's the center of this needs to line up with this, the center of the, the work so what I had to do was to make uh, this spacer here which pushes the whole cross slide about three quarters of an inch 20 millimeters uh, over and that that fixed that problem uh, that was one of the many problems I had to solve um, so so you can line that up like that and, uh, and 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 off you go you can cut but usually you start out here and uh, and move in but what I also found was that um, this bounced around quite a lot so I had to make a, a, a retaining plate for that uh, which I did hopefully this is in focus I, got no, I, I don't have a way of seeing uh, what's going on I'll just have a check oh, it should be alright so um, the way this works is that uh, that fits into there uh, and uh, it's the same diameter as, as this shaft and then it has that end plate. Uh, and then it's then a, a cap screw tightens it up like that and what I found was that um, the cap screw would just tighten as you turn the the ball attachment uh, it would it would tighten and basically it was was no good at all because it would just either be too tight or too loose um, so what I did was I'll just undo these grub screws uh, I, I put a, a grub screw in from the top and tighten that down until uh, I get the perfect uh, pressure on this um, so I'll just show how it goes together just, uh, need my screwdriver excuse me so, uh, I have to take this off so I can get my cross slide off it's all quite a fuss and bother really. Uh, I think this is 
is going to be pull out of frame. So that fits in there. And then it's in there. Handy dandy Allen keys. to make these screws uh, because my lathe has uh, BA threads um, so I uh, machine those up and I have some BA taps and dies so I uh, made the threads that's why it's brass because that's what I had and, uh, I really should have made this at an angle but I holding everything at an angle. I just ripped it out as it was. This isn't going in very well. find the best thing is to uh, wind it in as far as it'll go so it's lined up with the nut. It doesn't matter so much with this setup because it's there's a lot some finer tolerances than the original. So there we go. And the other problem I found when I first used this thing was it was very difficult to know um, Essentially what you need to do is to, is to go in until you're halfway uh, and my lathe doesn't have any kind of a depth stop so I made this kind of a, as a depth stop and it has a slot there and there was already a hole here I don't know what, it's, what that was originally designed for but um, I made this and um, practice is probably not really necessary after I've used it a couple of times I found I can easier just to uh, measure the diameter of the ball and compare it but anyway that's, that's quite a handy Myford, Myford mod uh, and set the depth to whatever you want probably needs a little oh, it's probably better like that uh, and then um, so this is this is the tool holder uh, and that's just a, an insert and uh, this is made out of stainless steel. Uh, I don't know what grade of stainless. Uh, and what you do is you basically you need to line up the centre with the middle of the work. Right. 
can use them at night. Cross my cross, uh, my dip stop. Set that. Seems to work well that that's made out of stainless because it's a bit, it's a bit harder um, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't cause issues. Uh, now you see, I have to bring the work out a bit because this is my hit chuck.
caution stands. <laughs> 